it's Martha. I have some books to share with you. I hope you've been doing a lot of reading. I have been, and these are some of my favorites. So the first one is a picture book biography, a format I really like because it's a picture book, picture book, lots of pictures, a short story, but it tells the true story of a real person. So this one is Starstruck, The Cosmic Journey of Neil deGrasse Tyson. And Neil, as a little boy, was amazed when he went to a planetarium show and saw the dome of millions of stars. That just really in exploded in his mind as, a, as an enthusiasm and a passion that's lasted all his life. And he determined that he wanted to study astronomy and the stars and space, and he worked very hard toward it and he became an astrophysicist and a famous TV scientist, spreading his enthusiasm for space to all of us with his wonderful TV shows. And by a coincidence, 30 years or so after that trip to the planetarium, when he was a little boy, he became the director of that very same planetarium. So it's a wonderful story of um, having a, a dream and a passion and really working hard to achieve it, which Neil did. The next one is a nonfiction in picture book format also called Beauty and the Beak by Deborah Lee Rose. And Beauty is a bald eagle who had a horrible thing happen to her, a gunshot and the bullet uh, snapped off her beak. And a bird really needs a beak to survive. They need it to drink and to tear their food and eat, and they need it to groom their feathers. So Beauty was really kind of doomed after this terrible event. But she was rescued and brought to a nature center and a really fantastic team of people got together and designed a specialized a specially engineered beak for her, a 3D printed beak that would save her life. And the team was a raptor biologist, an engineer, and a dentist. Those were the three specialties. And so they worked hard on beauty and they were able to save her life by using the 3D printer to make this wonderful prosthetic beak. And here's a photograph of beauty having her first drink of water after getting her new beak. And the book also has lots of general information about bald eagles. It's really wonderful. And it's nice to know that a 3D printer can be so useful. Much fancier than the one we have at the library. This one is called How Does My Garden Grow by Gerda Mueller. It's got wonderful illustrations, very detailed with lots of fruits and vegetables. And this is about Sophie who lives in the city but comes to the country to spend the summer with her grandparents. And their, her grandparents have a big vegetable garden and Sophie helps them plant it and then helps them harvest all the different things each month. And you can see that it's a pretty long story, so really good for lots of different ages particularly because it has so much science in it, a lot of real information about the vegetables and fruits and about gardening. So it goes through all the months of the summer, and then Sophie has to go home to her city apartment, but her grandparents have sent her home with a nice surprise present for the following spring, a wonderful packet of seeds. And Sophie and her friends are able to plant their balcony apartments with these wonderful, wonderful group of seeds, flowers and herbs and vegetables. So that is called, How Does My Garden Grow? And then finally in the picture books, here's another true story, The Hen Who Sailed Around the World by Guirec Soudé. And Guirec is a young French sailor. Here are some pictures of Guirec. And when he was I think at the beginning of this book, he's only about 22, he decides to sail around the world with his pet hen, Monique. And so it's the story of a young sailor and his chicken and all of their adventures. 
And one of their biggest adventures is that when they were far up north in the winter, their sailboat got stuck in the ice. And it was stuck in the ice for a long time, a few months. And luckily Monique was laying eggs, so Girek had something to eat. And uh, Monique did fine out on the ice. He even made a cute little sweater for her out of a glove, out of some gloves. Oh, here's her little sweater. So adorable. So uh, Girek and Monique's adventures are also on the internet. They have a website. They're still out on his sailboat having a lot of fun. Let's talk about a few novels. This one is called The Great Trouble. A mystery of London, the Blue Death, and a boy called Eel. And it's set in the 1850s in London, England, way back in the olden times. And Eel is an orphan and kind of scrabbles to make a living, scrabbles to survive. He does a lot of different odd jobs. And he works for a neighbor, he works for an innkeeper, he works for a doctor, and is always trying to survive in the uh, difficult streets of London. And this particular uh, adventure is August of 1854, and Eel's neighbor and friend has become deathly ill, and several other neighbors all of a sudden also are sick with the same disease. And Eel thinks that his friend the doctor, who is very interested in science and in finding out where diseases come from, he thinks that Dr. Snow might be able to figure out why just in Eel's neighborhood suddenly so many people are sick. And Dr. Snow does do some research and he and Eel, um, you know, race against time to try to solve the mystery of why all these people in one neighborhood are getting sick. And it's based on a true event in history, which was the 1854 cholera epidemic in London. And Dr. Snow is based on a real person too, who did research and looked into the science in a way that was very modern at that time. So a medical mystery, very exciting. The next one is more of a quiet book, not such an adventure. It's called Here in the Real World by Sarah Pennypacker. And it's about where an 11 year old boy who kind of is off in his own world. He lives in his head most of the time, dreaming and thinking. He loves to read. He loves the Middle Ages and he knows everything about knights and castles and chivalry. And he wishes that there were a way that he could be chivalrous like the knights of old and save someone or rescue a difficult situation. And he's, he doesn't have many friends. He mostly stays alone and is perfectly happy that way. But his parents don't understand where, and they think that he must be lonely and need friends, and they sign him up for a summer recreation program where he would meet every day with lots of kids, and of course he just hates it. He sneaks away from that rec program, and right next door, there's an abandoned church with a big property around it, and there he meets a girl, kind of a tough streetwise girl named Jolene, who is very secretive. And she's creating a garden in this abandoned property, and gradually Ware gets her confidence, and they work together to make a sort of a magical place um, where they both can feel comfortable. And something comes up with the city, um, a, a big problem, and Ware's kind of special talents are very helpful, and he actually is able to rescue the day, just as he had always dreamed of doing. And by the end, his parents can kind of see that he's happy being the way he is, and he also can accept himself as it being perfectly normal the way he is. Some people uh, like a lot of company and some people like to be more alone and that's perfectly all right. So Here in the Real World was a wonderful book, beautiful book. I really liked it. And then finally, here's Jinxed by Amy McCulloch. And Jinxed is an exciting adventure about Lacey, Lacey Chu, who is a girl who's 
very good with technology. She loves computers. She loves coding. She's an expert tinkerer. She can fix anything. And she's really can tell how things work and make them work better. And uh, her, her biggest dream in life is to become a creator and engineer for the biggest tech corporation in the world, in this near future world that's in the book. And the corporation is Mancha, the Mancha Corp, who are famous because they've in, invented the Baku. And Bakus are a kind of robotic animal that, that somehow bonds with the person that owns them and it becomes like a cell phone, a smartphone, a computer, a pet, and a companion all in one. It seems very magical, high tech, and all the elite people have these bakus. And Lacey, near the beginning of the book, has found this extremely damaged cat baku and she spends all summer repairing it and fixing it and getting it to work and Jinx is the cat. Jinx bonds with her, and together they have this tremendous adventure. Um, it's book one. Uh, book two should be out very shortly, and um, it's very exciting with corporate secrets and sort of uh, tech technological adventure. All right, so I think you'll like some of those. Please don't forget that we have curbside service. Even though you can't come into the library, you can choose a book, ask us to pull it for you, and you can pick it up out on our sidewalk. And I hope that you're doing a lot of reading and that you're doing fine. I miss you. See you next time. Bye-bye.